Hey y'all, Chelsea Andrews here. I'm the director for, of Campus Relations for Passages. Um, for any of you that just got back from our spring break trips, welcome to the alumni community. I am here with Noah Rahman from Stand With Us. Noah, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure, so my name is Noah Rahman. I'm the Northwest Campus Director at Stand With Us. Stand With Us is an Israel nonprofit. We're based in the United States and we're dedicated to bringing Israel education to high schools, college campuses, and communities at large. So we're here in Portland today working with passages and creating a relationship within the Jewish and Christian community on campuses, Multnomah University, a quick shout out to the students hey. there, Portland State, and my alumni university, Lewis and Clark College. Awesome. And then we also have a bus from George Fox going with us at Passages um, this coming summer. So we have a whole kind of community of Israel activism and activity uh, going on in the Portland area. So one of the things that I wanted to do is kind of give a little bit of a description of what Noah and I are doing in Portland and then give you guys a background of the city of Portland and the relationship that they have with Israel. Um, so Noah, can you kind of start by explaining um, just the Portland climate towards Israel? Sure. So a majority of the campuses on within Portland, Lewis and Clark College, Reed College, and Portland State, they have a very anti-Israel sent sentiment where most students, they're either apathetic where they don't really care about Israel or they're very anti-Israel coming from a perspective that they don't even want to engage in Israel conversation and dialogue about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Yeah, so when we actually had the bus from Multnomah University, it's a private Christian school here in Portland, Go with Passages, um, I started bringing up this school to our Jewish partner organizations, and everyone was like, wait a minute, there's a like Christians in, in Portland that like Israel because the community has just not really had a lot of that in their experience. So one of the things that we've been doing is bringing together students from these different schools and different organizations that work here to try to bring the Christian community that Passages has worked with together with the Jewish students that are active working on their campuses. Um, so we've had some meetings today, right now, if you can't tell, it's kind of dark. Like, what are we doing? Where are we? We've been We're working in a car. all day long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these have been long days. I'm from Chicago. So I've been waking up at like 4 a.m. with jet lag. Um, Noah's here over on this coast. So we got in, I think, two days ago. All day, the last two days, we've been doing different events. Um, tell them about, about Gratitude Days at yeah, Multnomah. Absolutely. So at Multnomah University yesterday, I can't believe it was only right, yesterday. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, we brought this acti this Stand With Us activation called Gratitude Days, where it was started in Israel. Uh, Tala Levi started it as an opportunity for people, citizens, anyone living in Israel to take a moment and reflect on something they're grateful for by writing something on a gratitude board. So we loved the project and we wanted to bring it to different communities here, which we had at Multnomah University yesterday. It was really fun. Everyone was walking around and people were walking by. We were like, do you want to write on this? It was like a, like a quasi chalkboard. Um, and we're like, do you want to write on this chalkboard something you're grateful for? And everyone was like, what are we doing? And it was a really cool way to start bringing up Israel people that haven't been before. And it was just really, really organic. And I love doing it. It was really cool. Yeah. And something really quickly to yeah. add what's interesting about Gratitude Days when it was first yeah. started, um, it was started between Holocaust Remembrance Day and then the gratitude boards were set up all over major cities in Israel, like Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, Haifa. And it went from 10 days from Holocaust Remembrance Day all the way to Israeli Independence Day. So having this moment of atonement and reflection off of things that you can reflect on your life and things that you're grateful for and then having ending with the celebration of Israeli Independence Day. I love that. Um, I think kind of the last little update that we have for you guys or the last little kind of tidbit I want to say is that Stay With Us is a great partner to Passages. This is my first time getting to work on the West Coast with Noah and I've loved it so much. Um, I think my last question for you Noah is what has it been like as a professional that's been doing this for a number of years now seeing the entrance of Passages in the Christian community coming into the dialogue? Absolutely. So it's cool because we have a lot of different partnering organizations working towards the same goal of bringing more education about Israel. So today we met with Portland Hillel, PDX Hillel, mm -hmm. and we gave students, Jewish students, non-Jewish students, the opportunity to just be in the same room, have a conversation so about a, uh, the Jewish state, Israel, about people that support the same cause, and having a conversation of how they can bring more speakers and programs like Gratitude Days toward, towards both of their campuses. I love it. Um, okay, if anybody is more curious about how to get involved on campus, if you want to plug in that way, um, go ahead and add me on Facebook. My name is Chelsea Andrews. If you Google out Passages and Chelsea Andrews, you'll find me. Um, and then my email is chelsea at passagesisrael.org. 
you all should have gotten an email from me if you're one of our alumni. So we'll be in touch soon. Bye, y'all.